welcome to Lawyer of the Week. Lawyer of the Week is creating a global community of lawyers, solicitors, and their support to inform and to encourage each other. My name is Pamela Deneuve, and please join us for our interview this week. Welcome to Lawyer of the Week. I am very pleased today to have George Beaton from Australia, Melbourne. And I'd like to tell you a little bit about Dr. George Beaton. He has held senior academic positions in the medical, business, and law facilities of leading universities in South Africa and Australia. George is regarded as an authority on professional services industries and their firms. His research interest is in the imperative for law firms to remake their business models on the subject of which he wrote New Law, New Rules in 2013, and Remaking Law Firms Why and How, which was published by the American Bar Association in 2016. George consults to professional services firms in Australia, New Zealand, Asia, UK, United States, and Canada. Welcome, George. We're so glad to have you as the Lawyer of the Week today. It's my great pleasure, Pamela. And what time is it there for you? It's 10 o'clock in the morning. Okay, very good. It's nighttime here for me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'd like to ask you the first question is, when and what made you decide to write your book? Well, the book you refer to, I think, is Remaking Law Firms, and, uh, which is a major work published by the American Bar Association, uh, response to my first little book, New Law, New Rules, which was the first time in the world anybody had recognized the new law business model and how it differed from traditional law firms and how it offered to clients many advantages um, over the traditional model and offered to the traditional model opportunities to, in my language, remake itself in response to the many challenges it has. So it, it, it was in response to an answer, well, you, you've given us a big wake-up call, traditional firms, now what do we do about it? And that, that's why I wrote the book with the emphasis on not only why you should do it, but how you should do it. What are the practical strategies that you can adopt over a number of years to improve the operating efficiency and the client effectiveness of your law firm. Oh boy, that's really a great contribution that you made, George, with that book, with both of your books, actually. Now, who is the perfect referral to your business? The perfect referral is a, a, a law firm uh, that has seen, see, seen the light, so to speak, mm -hmm. um, who understands that the partnership needs to mobilize itself to start making changes, not because there's a, a, a smoke coming under the door and, and a, a sense of great emergency, but because over the next five, 10 years, if they don't start changing now uh, and remaking themselves, the firm will be progressively become less relevant to clients and therefore to the attorneys that work in it and the partners that own it. So it's firms that want to make the change um, and who are seeking guidance on what to do. Okay, it's very good. Now, can you tell us a little bit about your biggest wins and challenges in the work that you do? Oh, wow. Um, some of my most rewarding client experiences have been with the largest law firms, that, that exist, the, the very, very big ones. Um, I've had the privilege to, to work with two of them, um, whether it be in Chicago or London or Shanghai, um, as well as both of them are represented here in Australia with, with offices here. I uh, work with their executive committees to get a, a really deep grasp of what it means to take institutions that are decades and generations old preserve the best of those traditions and legacies and start to make the changes which as i say will preserve their relevance to clients 
Oh boy, that's really good. Um, you know, I see it myself. And so I do know that there are firms, a lot of firms that are steeped in those old firm cultures. And to hear that you're able to work with some of the biggest firms and uh, help them to see the light is very encouraging. Yes, I, I, I don't think it's so much size. I mean, clearly for a person like myself and my colleagues in our little firm, uh, working with these very big names is, is, is immensely um, ego enhancing, if I may say. <laughs> but, um, you know, some of our most progressive and, and uh, determined firms are small, 50 attorneys, mm -hmm. and one city firms. Um, you, you don't have to be large and, and, and on the world stage to to see these opportunities and to apprehend these threats. Uh, it really is a function of the the vision uh, and the insight of the leaders. When, when they get it, uh, then there's an opportunity for them to persuade and help their partners get the message. That's great. It's good news to hear that, George. Now, what legacy do you want to leave in your practice in your law consulting firm? I'd like uh, to, to leave a, a group of people to continue the work, um, adding value to our clients, uh, researching. We, we are very committed to our own research, proprietary research in the industry, hence my writings, our proprietary research amongst the clients of these firms, understanding what makes clients tick and why they are changing and how they are becoming more demanding of what they expect, the more for less phenomenon that clients are expecting from law firms. So I'd like that to, to continue um, as, as the next generation comes along and brings its new skill sets, its digital know-how, uh, its fresh eyes. Uh, the millennial generation of, of attorneys is very different to the previous generations in the way they view the profession of law and the practice of law. Um, and the need to, to re remake the psyche of, 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 of attorneys. That's good. So tell me um, one thing, a little bit aside from business, name one thing that you do in your spare time to relax. Oh. <laughs> okay. Uh, my uh, wonderful wife and business partner, Margaret, and I are very, very, very keen Australian native gardeners. So oh. we, we have a property of uh, some seven acres where we, uh, we toil in the fields, so to speak, um, uh, putting back the native bush and uh, fighting the introduced weeds. Uh, and enjoying, particularly with uh, spring a couple of months away, we will have the most wonderful show of Australian wildflowers. Wonderful, wonderful. Well, I'm so glad to have you here with us today, George, and we really appreciate the work that you're doing. You know, it makes a big difference out there in the world. Um, there's a lot of upheaval going on in the uh, legal profession, a lot of um, initiatives that are getting ready to come down the pike that um you know with uh uh doc with uh patrick krill i don't know if you're familiar with that work mm -hmm. and uh, so there's a lot of a lot of shakeups. so with you at the helm here and making a difference all over the world we really value and appreciate the work you're doing it's my great pleasure to have been with you thank you for inviting me Pamela. thank you george really appreciate it Thank you for joining Lawyer of the Week. We hope to see you again next week.